Tonight, the FAA reporting the number of incidents of unruly passengers on board airplanes is down slightly so far this year, but they're still happening. This past weekend, at least two flights had to be diverted due to passengers causing trouble. More now from CNN's Tom Foreman. The approximately six foot three, 240 pound man confronted the crew right outside the cockpit, according to court papers, holding a plastic utensil like a shank, kicking and shoving a service cart into one of the flight attendants. Those documents say Juan Roberto Rivas also tried to open the boarding door, saying people on the plane were attempting to hurt him and were going to bring down the plane before an attendant hit him with a coffee pot and other passengers rushed up, punching, tackling, and securing him with handcuffs and duct tape. The flight from L.A. to D.C. was then diverted to Kansas City, where Rivas was taken into custody. The FAA says on average, about 10 unruly travelers are now reported every day. With the steep rise in these cases, Flight attendants have been asking every single day when they put on their uniform, is this going to be a sign of authority and leadership in the cabin, or is it going to be a target for a violent attack? You made me wait four hours. You gave me one Warning. Yeah. One warning. Incidents of upset, angry, and occasionally violent passengers soared last year to nearly 6,000, with almost three quarters of the episodes related to mask wearing. So far this year, the numbers are down a bit, but while many states are dropping mask mandates, federal authorities still require them on airplanes, and the tension is real. Listen, now you're the Combine that with a record number of guns caught at security checkpoints, and some industry groups want no-fly lists for disruptive travelers. And the Biden administration says they might consider it. You simply should not behave this way on an airplane. You shouldn't behave this way on the ground either. Uh, but in, uh, in air travel, it's a unique risk. In the meantime, many flight attendants continue training to defend themselves, other passengers, and even their planes when fellow travelers, for whatever reason, attack. The man in that weekend incident has now been charged with interfering with a flight attendant, and he is still being held with no word on how he will answer that accusation. Don? Tom Foreman, thank you. And thank you for watching. Our coverage continues.